Hi everyone, it's Jeff Mitoso Crafts. Thank you for joining me today and welcome to our channel. Today I'll be sharing how to create this tiny cute basket. So it's for little chocolates or treats uh, and table favors. And it is decorated using the Berry Blessing stamp set from the Celebration 2021 and using the snail dies. So um, it opens up. and you will have a treat in there. So I'll show you what treat can um, be put in uh, at the end of the video. So you will need the snail dies, which looks like this. So the main die cut that we'll be using is this one for the envelope. And that coordinates and comes as a bundle currently with the snail dit stamp set. So all of, as you can see, all of those images are um, coordinates with those dies. So, uh, and you get 10% off on the bundle. And this is the free celebration, very blessing stamp set that I'll be using to decorate it uh, using the raspberries or berries. <laughs> so that will be my decoration. This one doesn't come with a die. Um, or die set so we will be fussy cutting those or you could always just use the hearts from the snail dit to decorate the basket the inks I'll be using are cherry cobbler poppy parade pear pizzazz and garden green you'll also need uh, resin hearts embellishments and the snail mail twine combo pack. Uh, I'll be using the blushing bride for that one. So let's get started with a bit of stamping. I'll be using this image to stamp on these two cardstock. This one measures four centimeter square or that's one nine sixteenth of an inch square. And this one measures 21 centimeters by one centimeters, or that's eight and a quarter inch by three eighths of an inch. So we'll just be using, as mentioned, that one in pear pizzazz. So let's just going to fill that up. And what's great about this stamp image, it, it adds texture because it actually has different gradients of ink that adds onto the paper. So just fill it up like so. And then we'll do the same for the strip. So the strip will be for the handle and just turn your stamp just around just to vary the design on it. And the square piece was for the lid to cover what's inside. So quick stamping, simple stamping on a strip of card. There we go. So we'll continue stamping with the raspberry design. For the outline, I'll be using cherry cobbler. And for the filler, I'll be using poppy parade. We'll do the stalks as well afterwards in garden green and pear pizzazz. So stamp this three times in cherry cobbler. and then the filler design in Pop Parade. My stamping is slightly off as I can't go right above it, but do take your time. Ooh, that was quite lucky. And now we'll do the same for the stalks. So garden green for the outline.
and pair precise for the filler. Doesn't matter too much that it's got a tiny bit out, it just gives it a bit of highlight. So now use your paper snips to fussy cut that out. We're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our Facebook page or website at mythosocrafts.com to get a handmade card from us or free gifts the following month. There we go, three raspberries fussy cut with the paper snips. Next, you'll need to die cut the envelope design in your chosen color cardstock. So I'm changing it up from the sample that I've uh, blocked. So this one is old olive cut three times and you can see from the die cut, there's some indentation there. So just go ahead and fold those all around and you can use your bone folder as well just to make sure that that's nice and crisp. And do those for all three. And then once that's done, we can construct our card. So I've gone ahead and done the other two. And we construct our basket even. So you can either use Tombow or Stampin' Seal Plus. So I'm gonna try this and practice my um, sealing. <laughs> and I've just got a silicone mat underneath um, just to help me along. So basically, this is gonna be the base and we're gonna align that score line along there. So we'll need glue on this side. Just turn that over. And if you do get your um, Stample Seal Plus up, um, with excess on the edge, just fold it over where you want it stuck down. So we'll do that there. And then you can either fold it down and then line it up that way so you know that's gonna and fold this up so you know that's gonna be okay and then do the same for this side and then um, stick that together okay so now we'll do the same for this side so one we'll do on the back and one will do on here. So any excess, fold it in. And it's that way. So I'm gonna fold that with the sticky bit at the bottom, line that along that score line, and then fold that up. So you know that that's gonna fold up. And that is the base of the basket. And we're just gonna stick the sides. So for this one, we are gonna go that one first. So we'll add glue on both ends. So I think the best way is going that way. So if you do get stuck, just help along your seal. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's fine. So I'm just gonna fold that. Again, you can use your Tombow. I'm just using this for um, easy adhesion. And that way, if you do have any excess along, you can either push it out or in, but it shouldn't matter too much because it'll be hopefully covered and it's on the side anyway. So we're just gonna do that across like so. 
and then do the same for this side. So you can gauge it and see or use your stamped cover earlier to make sure that it fits. So you don't want it too far in. So you just want it kind of like slightly, kind of like, um, what you call it, folded in. And that can be added on. So add glue on there and then add glue on here. So again, any excess, fold it over, fold it up and same goes here. And then next we're going to add our stamp handle. So that is literally just going to go all the way in. You can use your finger to gauge where you're going to add your seal. And then add that on all the way down around the middle. So all the way in there. And then we'll do the same for this one. So fold it over, push it down. So it's about two centimeters. What's that in inches? About seven eighths of an inch. So just over and that is your handle done. So for the cover, we're going to add this using mini stamping dimensionals. Before we do that, we do need to add the snail mail uh, twine as well. So we're using this. So you'll need 12 inch inches of it, or that's 30.5 centimeters. And then fold that in half and cut it in half. There we go. If you do find creating, uh, tying a bow quite difficult. You might want it longer, but I can show you how to add this on. So mini dimensionals, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on here, or you can use glue dots, but I wanted the mini dimensional because I wanted a, a bit of a gap between the um, triangular lid to the cover so it'll probably be easier with a mini glue dot but we're gonna add it that way okay and then the next one on the other side so the same way so place that centralized and then just glue that in there or dimensionalized it there. So for one side, I'm gonna add two more and this will hold the cover in place. Okay. So so just make sure this one is square, remember? So just make sure that you align that along that edge upside down because this is going to be the back. And once you fold it in, obviously put in your treat. I will, again, I'll show you the treat that will fit in there or um, other treats can fit in there like mini eggs, I guess. That will be cool. 
um, and then you can fold in um, create your bow so obviously if it's got a bit more stuff in there uh, it might be a bit more challenging to create to add this bow on top but I think it just finishes it off nicely as well with the bow as you can see one of the flaps is actually high um, it's going up more because it's not connected to the cover so we're gonna have that front facing so you can't see it that way so you'll have the front facing there and to finish up we are just going to add our berries so for our berries we're just gonna add it on here so again you can use Dumbo or snail normal snail or snail plus I got the snail here so I'm just snailing it not snail seal it's seal so I'm sealing it sealing it in place there we go I was getting confused with the stamp that I was using so for one of the berries, the other berries, I'm just adding glue on the stalk. Okay, fold that, fold the excess again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend kind of like halfway. And we're just adding that onto the handle of the basket like that and then the other one will hide and add it on there so that one help along and then seal it in place there we go and add that on so I want the stalk that way And then finally, don't forget your resin hearts embellishment, again from the snail mail suite. So in my original, I did use a stamping blend to color it, but we're just gonna keep this white. So all the way down up there. Here we go, tiny treat basket using the envelope die from the snail dies set decorated with the bear blessings stamp set free from celebration 2021 i also created another one for another blog hop i've just changed the um card base so this one is balmy blue and for this one i've actually put in the treat which is da, 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 a Ferrero Rocher, Ferrero Rocher. So that can fit in there. It is slightly bulky on there, but it still fits. So you do have a bit of a bulk on there, but I think it's so cute and great to have on um, tables or just as a gift as well, uh, or I've actually hanged this on our tree. We have like a craft tree, so you can just hang that up as well. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, and do consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so. All the product links that I've used today will be found in the description below as well. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, bye!